Sue Bailey, uh, Marketing and Public Relations Manager here at the library. This is Shelf Talk, and uh, it's my turn to tell you about um, very much my favorite books uh, ever. Um, in fact, I'm probably one of the biggest fans of author Louise Penny. Um, I'm going to tell you today a little bit about the book, Bury Your Dead. Um, however, before we get started, or before I give you the, the information on this, I just want to tell you a little bit about Louise Penny's books. Um, Personally, every August-ish, when she writes a book, um, I devour them as quickly as they come out. And um, what's fun about it, or what's interesting about it, is that I'm kind of ruined for a while before I read uh, somebody else's book because they're so good and they stick with me for so long um, that um, you know it, it's a little it's a little tough, but. Um, anyway, Louise Penny uh, writes mysteries. She's Canadian, um, and so all of her books are set in Canada. As I said, she writes mysteries. Her books center around a main character by the name of Armand Gamache. And Armand Gamache is uh, head of homicide for the Sûreté de Quebec. Uh, I'm not French, so that's not exactly right, um, but um, it's fun to, to learn the, the pronunciations. Um, in fact, what's kind of fun, if you like to learn the pronunciations, Louise's website has pronunciations for all of the French words. So this particular book uh, I'm recommending um, as a way to start the series, and it's unusual because it's halfway through the 13 titles that she's written. Um, I say this one because this is the first book I read of hers, and it really, really stuck with me. Um, in this book, um, uh, Chief Inspector Armand Gamache is in Quebec City, and uh, he's recovering from um, sort of a mysterious shootout um, and incident that happened not in this book or really in any of the other books. Um, but you come to understand that something happened, um, and uh, he's recovering. He's he's attending or he's um, taking some time off and he's going to this library. It's an Anglophone library called the um, Library of Literary and Historical Society. And while he's there, um, a murder occur occurs and he gets pulled into this particular um, mystery. Um, what happens throughout this story is there's actually three storylines going on and even if you don't uh, haven't read the previous books you still get a really good sense of um, the character and what's going on um, the um, her writing is is amazing she's able to keep you uh, completely enthralled and uh, in this book particular um, you learn a lot about uh, Quebec City you learn a lot about the history of Quebec um, you learn a lot about um, the, the explorer uh, Champlain, um, and I really liked the hi the history that was involved in this book. Um, so that's pretty much what I wanted to say. I highly recommend um, all of Louise Penny's books. Um, you can start in order. The characters um, carry through, so it's nice to know uh, who's who and and you know why they act the way they do. So that's really fun. Um, and just as a a, a side note. Um, her last book, which just came out this last fall, Glass Houses, uh, was on the bestseller list and probably still is. It's doing very, very well. Um, so if you get a chance, read Louise Penny um, or come to the library and talk to her biggest fan. That would be me, Sue Bailey. Um, so anyway, thanks a lot.